We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. And take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did, but we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we need you for something. Can it wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. I need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project. He'll be back. When? I don't know. But he will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue... Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can it's save no if you're messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light, a bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped us you, but when we ran away. I know. I feel the same way. What happened to his arm? I don't know. We were all running out together, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Let's see what he wants. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. All oh, right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. It's okay. Freaks me out too sometimes. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. Sorry about that. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. 
Bell put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. It's probably bullshit. Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. I know that, but I'm starting to see what this place offers. I didn't before, and with the accident, it's just that much more important now. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't know what happened, but maybe he had his reasons. His reason is he's a crazy piece of shit. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. Okay, sure. <sighs> Thank you. It means a lot. She don't speak for all of us. No, but if she doesn't want to cause trouble, she doesn't have to. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. I want to leave with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. <gasps> I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly, he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I don't trust him either. He acts... strange. Yeah. I guess getting part of your body chopped off can do that to a fella. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Sure, I'll have a look around. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. 